worst fear. What is your worst fear? Maybe death. Some's uh, worst fear is losing everything they have, they hold dear, their family, their this and that. And exactly what these guys always do. They try to target your worst fear and they use that to keep you under check. Sometimes or most times too, if you are proving difficult somehow, they can just introduce the religion, the fear. Look at that, fear. The fear of what will become your, what will become your life if you oppose this. Are you willing to take the risk? They appeal to your fear. But what they didn't know is that, what you don't know is that uh, they are also scared. They are scared for a day that you will beat that fear. You no longer care. There are people who no longer care about all those things anymore. And the number is growing. That is why when Noshimbadi went uh, to this, uh, uh, what do you call it? ECOWAS uh, blah, 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 blah summit on Mali. They were talking about a coup, right? Before now, in Africa, people thought that uh, maybe coup would become a thing of, uh, of the past, no longer popular. The Western world, no, you know, they no longer uh, sponsor this or they no longer back it. That's the impression. Until the coup happened in Sudan, the coup happened in Mali, and then uh, where's the other one? In a space of a uh, few months, a lot happened on the continent of Africa, and they decided to go to Miami to uh, West Africa and a meeting. And that was where Ikene Shatabandu said something like, West Africa, Echo Was, is never going to support any coup. Who gives a damn about Echo Was? The same uh, toothless uh, Echo Was or Shubade, who is dreaming to be president of Nigeria his confidence, not because he has anything. And if you look at this Bokuari's government and their modes of operation, right, you can tell yourself it is no longer democracy. You know it, yeah? And they rely so much on the backing of the military. That is why those criminals who committed genocide under Buhari, people like Buratai, the butcher, and all those ones they call their service chiefs and all of them, right? Who committed genocide rather than getting prosecuted, right? They got retired, paid every sum, lofty estates, and then a home and abroad. And now, in fact, they made them ambassador, ambassadors for Nigeria in another country, representing Nigeria diplomatically. Thank you very much. So they rely more on coup. I mean, so they rely more on the military, including fake Pastor Ruga himself. And so far, so good. It seems that uh, the military has been delivering. Whenever they want to rig the election, the military is, uh, will be at hand to give them uh, the backing, including the police. Whenever you decide to go out there and protest against insecurity, ask Buhari to resign. It's failed you. The way the military will show up, the soldiers will show up in a democracy and they will start shooting. If you even come together to say, well, as free citizens of your country, you want to go out and protest against that same police brutality, then answers will come to mind. These are cold, cold hearted, murderous uh, people. But they are also scared. You need to know that they are also scared. And that is why most of the time when they take some of their actions, right, you ask yourself, why are they so overreacting? Why are they so opposed to, uh, you know, having a conversation around uh, the issues that uh, is tearing the, the, the country apart if they actually love the country? But they don't care. They don't care. And many, many of their supporters too, they don't know, and therefore they don't care. So he went there to assert the confidence of uh, the military in Nigeria, which will kick them out. Uh, the military that will kick them out in Nigeria eh, is going to be the People's Army. Watch out for that. Well, what, what is being done is what is unprecedented. In the years gone by, the, the uh, 
Africa Union, or then known as Organization of Africa Unity and ECOWAS, never came down heavily on who's the time. But it's evident now that there is very strong resolve that uh, ECOWAS and indeed the AU, and in fact the international community, would not accept uh, unconstitutional takeovers of government in the forms of coup d'etat, coup d'etat, and other such. Uh, uh, unconstitutional means of taking over us. So it's very evident that there is very strong resolve, which is why we're here today. Is it, is it, is it enough to force Mali to return to civil rule? Well, we expect that it would. We expect that it would. And we expect that, you know, the actions that will be taken would point uh, the, the junta in, uh, in Mali in the right direction. We expect that it would. Expect uh, Mali to cooperate. But Shibaju won't talk to the uh, to the people or even initiate the conversation around the, the this integrating Nigeria, right? Now there's something I also want to add to it to this before I proceed. Okay. I want you to know something that the best card that the Nigerian politician love to play, as well as the typical Nigerians, and you know who we call the Nigerians. These are Nigerians who live in denial of what is going on in Nigeria. They will admit to what is going on on one hand, then they will also admit. I mean, they will also deny what is going on on the other hand. Confused lots. We call them the Nigerians who live the lie called uh, a country. So there is uh, this game they love to play. If you can say, "I love Nigeria, my country." even if you don't mean it. The typical Nigerian will feel better with you somehow. They want you to just say it. Because according to them, if you say anything bad about Nigeria, you are unpatriotic. You are tarnishing the image of Nigeria. You are, bring, you are the one making, you are the one destroying Nigeria. There are people who believe that. Most of the people who believe this, these are the Nigerians. They want to talk about the problems, but they don't want to name those who cause the problems. But you as a person, if you speak up against the vices going on in Nigeria, the injustice going on in Nigeria, you are a patriotic human being and you should be proud of yourself. Because speaking up against what the criminals are doing in Nigeria that is impacting and affecting the lives of millions of people, including those who defend them, is not, it's, I mean, it is, it's not uh, unpatriotic. It is, in fact, patriotic. You know why? Speaking up means you are yet to be a victim because soon, you are likely never going to have the opportunity of speaking up. Some people will need to speak up for you too. Before you become a victim that won't be able to talk, that is why you are talking and that is patriotism. Do you know those who destroy the image of Nigeria? They are your politicians. They are your religious leaders. They are the criminals who use the privilege that Nigeria gives them, right, to rob Nigeria and the rest of the world knows that. Listen, if they tell you that Nigerians are doing drug, Nigeria is not even up to, you know, Nigerians are doing drug. They are not, uh, or, uh, they are not in uh, number one to 10 of the countries where the real drug dealings in the whole world, when they are mentioned, Nigeria is not there. When they talk about the countries with the worst economic uh, financial crime, Yahoo, Yahoo, or whatever you call it, yeah? Nigeria is not even up to one, I mean, number one to 10. Google this, I'm, ask, I'm telling you now. The countries that we would like that that will make you agree that Nigeria is really corrupt in this regard, they are top of the list. America, UK, China, all these European countries, and so many others out there who are committing multi-billion dollars financial crime all over the world. Nigeria is not so close. But do you know which one that actually put us on the radar? There is no country in the world, even right there in Africa where you have uh, atlas rulers who have uh, ruled different countries in Africa, there is no country in the world where you will see 
cold-hearted criminals loot their countries the way criminals in Nigeria are looting their country. Like, they amaze the other politicians all over the world. Like, wow. Like, with the audacity, the effort, because they know all their assets. That is what put Nigeria as the corrupt country. Then, since that is the tag, then if you are a Nigerian, what, do you, what are you? A product of uh, a corrupt country brought about by your politicians who steal your money, deny you uh, hospitals, deny you roads, deny your children's schools, better education, deny you security, deny your youth a better environment to strive to make better, to try to make better of their lives. They deny you all of that. Then they came abroad to buy themselves health care, buy school for their children, you know, give their children their lives. They denied your own children. These things amaze the other politicians all over the world. That's what makes Nigeria the corrupt country in the whole world. Atlas people, while they watch the rest of their citizens suffer and die in penury, that is what is going on in Zamfara. But don't let anybody blackmail you. Uh, do you know how many Nigerians in jail abroad that are also, do you know how many Americans and Ameri how many British and how many other citizens of the world in different jails all over the world committing the same crime that some of you will not even dare to try as Nigerians? Or your politicians, the criminals who put your name out there ridiculously. Ridiculous people. They are the people, they are the unpatriotic people. When they now destroyed the entire place, you know what they did? They both, I mean, they came here to buy themselves health care. Onyibo, that they are, so Onyibo self corrupt, you are just stupid if you believe that. If Onyibo corrupt, or oh, Onyibos are coming to our, they are the ones helping our leaders to loot our country. Are you not stupid to even say that in public? That you have become so powerless that uh, you have become so spineless and your only way of escape is to say, if the Oyibos are not taking it from them, our leaders will not, have you even tried to stop them yourselves? Have you? You have no spine to stop them. Not all of you have that spine. And when they bring the money here, what do you expect? They sold your forefathers. They sold your, your, your forebearers as slaves to build their country. Then you got your independence. Then you elected the other criminals who, would, who don't need the Oyibos to come and steal anything anymore. I mean, they don't need to come and enslave you anymore. They will do it for them. And they will steal whatever they can steal and bring it over here. Those are the people you defend if you have not told yourself. Those are the criminals who are unpatriotic. So don't let anybody, anybody talking into saying, hey, you see all these things, we cannot be saying all of that. How many times do you see Americans, uh, uh, you know, disgracing their country? How many times have you seen American politicians loot their country and bring the money to Nigeria? How many? Give me one name. Two names. Three. Give me examples. How many British politicians stole their people's money and brought them down to Zimbabwe or brought them down to, uh, you know, uh, Kaduna in Nigeria? How many politicians do you know? But you are proud on the side that thieving politicians, thieving criminals, using religion, using everything they can use, tribe to steal from you, are easily taking that money away to the people you called your slave master. They, they hated us. They are the one encouraging Nigeria. They are the one, how you know, will you, will you keep quiet? Eh? Will you? Jay! 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 Help us, oh. help us. There is God, oh. There is God, oh. 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 God should descend, oh. Today, God will descend here. Nigerian women will not cry in vain. Nigerian women will not cry in vain. This thing will end today. My sisters, if my child, if your child lost, will you stay and keep quiet? Will you people stay and keep quiet? The president now is calling you, come, I want to help you. You don't want to appear. Will you get angry? 
Now the first lady is calling you, come, I want to help you. Come to find your, your child, your missing child. Will you keep quiet? No. Child. Child. There is God. Oh. There is God. Oh. The plus we are sharing, there is God. Oh. There is God. Oh. There is God. Oh. There is God. Oh. God bless our soul. People were laughing. Some of you are even laughing now. See, you are laughing. Well, or Terry. You can't blame people for what you encourage. That is why, after all the failure, the hunger, they said, when you if you see the people of Zamfara, oh, some of you will stop abusing the northerners. Especially the Aousas and the, the, I mean, those who have become the victims whose villages have been ransacked. They said, if you see how their lives have turned and changed, they said, these are the people who could still do their normal, lead their normal lives six years ago. That means before Bokwari, as much as the terrorism is in northern Nigeria, Zamfara, then they manage until the gold rush. See, if you see them now, many farms have been destroyed. So the reason for the attacks are beginning to make sense. And there are already areas where everything you are seeing in Zamfara today, you're going to see them in other part of Nigeria soon. Gold rush. People of Oshun. Shebi, you are waiting for Atonda Ogunlere, Abishon Golere, Tifnumbu, the Jagabandit of Lagos, eh? the Kukuruku, Akuko Bodilon. Your land will soon become uh, the land where you are already witnessing them. Your gold in Oshun, your gold in Undo, your gold reserve in Edo are the reasons why if you hear any Fulani terrorist attacking in any part of uh, your land, it is not just about the land grab anymore. It is about what is under, what is below that ground, which many, many of you Sometimes you don't even have a clue. So this whole fight, killing, attack, and the rest of that, that has changed the lives of the people of uh, Zamfara, changed the lives of the people of uh, Shokoto, changed the lives of the people of uh, Niger, and all these places. Farmers that they are talking about, the reason why, well, you continue to buy food at the exorbitant, uh, you know, uh, prices, and it's never going to go down when these farms continue to get attacked. The other day I was reading online where people whose farms were attacked just a few days ago, 20 uh, acres of land or farm destroyed. Cassava, you know, people are suffering in silence when Buhari said you should go back to farm. And now he said you have to ask God, ask God to do something. Some people said, I remember when uh, Mazin Amdekanu also said that uh, Chukuka, Chukuokike Abiyama, who bless uh, Biafra for Biafra to defend themselves, like the people of Zamfara. Now, there is something, though, talking about uh, a country that is not working in the interest of the people and the criminals in charge who, who deliberately keep it that way. Yeah, is this so? The, uh, what do you call it? The IPOB led by Mazin Amdekanu, right? The decided that they are not going to over rely on the Nigerian uh, security, which is already compromised, right? We're going to defend ourselves. We're going to defend our people who are the victims of all this uh, Fulani invasion and all of that, okay, in Biafra land, like the people of Zamfara. They allow the people of Zamfara to put together vigilante, all right? A vigilante group that could carry guns and all that because they were considered as people who understand the, the terrains better than the military that they are going to bring over, which somehow is ideal when they walk hand in hand. They call them joint task force. I mean, task force. So in Igbo land, 
Mazin and Dekano put something together and the reaction was different. You remember ESN? Well, their job was to, to, to ward off all these criminals. But Bukwari and gang, Igbo governors, Igbo politicians, they ganged up. It was like a consensus that they must be crushed. It's been over a year now, even though they have been the target of the Nigerian military. They have been the target of the Nigerian police. They have been the target of the Igbo governors. They have been the target of the DSS. They have also been the target of the Ebube, Ebube Lizard and Ebube Agu, as they call them, right? But these guys are still there. The mission is this, safeguard these communities. If they destroy our communities, where our people, you see Nigeria is affecting people differently. But when you go to the normal communities or these rural communities, these are agrarian communities, you know, uh, 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 farm settlements in Negbo land. They are the target of the Fulani terrorist, right? And you see these guys that they wanted to be their terrorists. They are those that should have been uh, given the greatest support like they did to the Northern uh, Vigilantes. It's a different story, right? ESN. <laughs> Eh, no, eh, no, 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 no